Hello everybody and we welcome you to the Worldwide Technology Raceway at Gateway for the running of the 2020 St. Louis 200 at Gateway for the first time in 10 years the NASCAR Xfinity Series is back at St. Louis man it is great to see these amazing Xfinity cars back again at this amazing track it's always known for some good racing and some crazy moments will we see more crazy moments Let's see. Right now, we got Chase Briscoe on the pole for today's race. And we got a good crowd on hand. We are ready. Hope you guys are ready. Now, let's get to the command and start engines to kick off today's race. Gentlemen, start your engines. The most beautiful sight in Santa here in motorsports as the pace car and the drivers are coming out of pit road. And let's get to your starting lineup to kick off today's race. On the first row is the number 98 of Chase Briscoe and the number 20 of Harrison Burton. On row two is the number nine of Noah Gregson, double zero Cole Custer, who won here back in 2015 the truck series. Row three it is Riley Herbs and the number 18 and number eight. It is Ryan Truex. On the fourth row, it is Justin Haley, the number 11, who won here back in 2018 for the trucks. And the number one, Michael Annette. On uh, row five, there's number three of Kaz Grella, and the number 16 of Ryan Reed. And on the final row, there's the number six of Ty Majeski, and the number 33 of Anthony Alfredo. Now, here's the track facts and race facts for today's race right here. Got the pole sitter, 98 of Chase Briscoe, got 10 laps for 200 miles. The 1.25 mile asphalt surface oval, 11 degrees of banking for turns number one and two, and nine degrees of banking turns number three and four. And the last time we raced it was 10 years ago. Carl Edwards won the 2010 July race after taking out Brakazowski, and Brakazowski won the last race at October of 2010. This is the first race of the Xfinity Series racing here for the first time in 10 years. I can't wait for this race. Are you guys ready? So I'm ready. Let's go. The pace car turns left. Chase Briscoe and Harrison Burton will lead the field down to the green as we're on board of the 98 machine. As they exit turn four, time to let him loose and let's go racing here at Gateway. An amazing clean start as they enter turn three and four. Riley Hurts makes a move on Noah Gregson. Chase Briscoe's gonna lead the first lap. Here comes Harrison Burton with a run on Chase Briscoe as Harrison Burns gonna take the lead. And they're side by side between Cole Custer and Ty Majeski. And as Harrison Burns will lead the third lap, Michael Winnett, we're getting word that he's having some problems with his car. He dropped like a rock at the start. While Harrison Burns leads, let's take a look at what happened to Michael Winnett. He's going very slow. I was one board to number one. He's going very slow. It looks like it may be an engine problem or a power issue. As Michael in the number one will go down the pit road to see what happens. And it looks like Michael Wynette's going to go behind the wall. He's going to call it quits. He is done for the day. And it appears to be an engine problem as we're halfway to this race. Harrison Burton has been dominant so far. Here comes Noah Gregson making a move on Riley Herbs for a second. And here comes Noah Gregson making a move on Harrison Burton as he takes the lead away from Harrison Burton. Here comes Riley Herbs. Riley Herbs passes his teammate Harrison Burton as we're on a flyby in turn number three. Four laps to go. Here comes Riley Herbs taking the lead away from Noah Gregson as they're in the back straightaway now. Here comes Harrison Burton making a move on his teammate and Noah Gregson. What a way to get the lead back as Riley Herbs is dropping back all the way to third. Three laps to go as one boy for Chase Briscoe, the pole sitter. He just passed Noah Gregson for a second. Fly by turn number three once again. Three car battle for the win. As one board with the race leader of Harrison Burton. He's been dominant so far. Two laps to go. Chase Briscoe on the inside of Burton. They're side by side. And in return number three. Harrison Burton with a crossover in turn four. White flag is out. One lap to go. Here comes Chase Briscoe making a run on Harrison Burton. Side by side. Dead even at the back straightaway for the final time. Briscoe goes high. Burton goes low. Side by side. Door to door. Chase Briscoe is going to win the St. Louis 200 at Gateway. Oh my goodness. What a finish. What a last lap. Congratulations to Chase Briscoe, the pole sitter, on winning the St. Louis 200. Less 
take a look at the replay of what happened on the last lap. Looks like Briscoe made a run on Harrison Burton. He had a better entrance of turn number one. Look at them going side by side, dead even at the back stretch. Look at Noah Gregson. He was getting close, but I don't think he was close enough. Then Briscoe cleared Burton. Then Burton made a run on the inside. Crossover, trading paint. They were literally on each other. And just wow. What an amazing finish for a caution free race. There's Gregson, Haley, and Riley Herbs finishing top five. And this is how close the finish looks like. Very, very exciting finish. And here's Chase Briscoe getting ready to celebrate by doing burnouts in front of the fans here at Gateway. A caution free race. It's been a good race. We had an amazing finish, and we would love to say congratulations to Chase Briscoe on winning the St. Louis 200. Welcome back to Gateway. We had an amazing caution-free race. It was green from start to finish. We had an amazing last lap, battle for the win, and an amazing finish between Chase Briscoe and Harrison Burton. Let's take a look at the results. Here's your race winner of the St. Louis 200, Chase Briscoe, pole sitter, fast car. Same with Harrison Burton. He started second. He finished his second. He also had a fast car. Noah Gregson finished his third. He led some laps. Had a fast car. Good finish. And then Justin Haley, a surprising driver to finish top five. He finished his fourth. He had a great race. Riley Herbs, he finishes at the bottom of the top five, but he lost momentum at the end. Cas Grella finished his sixth place. And then finishing in 7th place, it is a double zero, a Cole Custer. And then 8th place was Ryan Truex. Started nearly at the back, finished his top 10. Ty Majewski in the number 6, he finished in ninth place. Ryan Reed, his teammate, finishes in the top 10, finishing 10th place. And then the last car to finish on the race, Anthony Alfredo, he finished 11th. And Michael Annette, who had engine problems, he finished his dead last behind the wall. So that'll do it for today's St. Louis 200 at Gateway. We want to thank you guys so much for watching this good race. Congratulations to Chase Briscoe on winning at Gateway. We hope you guys enjoy this race. Comment, like, and subscribe for more content. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notification bell. Thank you for supporting E-Nation, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.